Welcome back to Waz a Day, where our Waz today is The Snapper, a 1982 release running here on the Apple II Plus in MAME. I'm gonna do one player uh, with a skill level of one. I'm gonna do joystick. I gave me a joy mapped in MAME, and I'm gonna press uh, spacebar to start. Or I, I could press spacebar, but let's uh, let's let's read the review on uh, on Moby Games here. The Snapper is a one or two player arcade maze game. The player controls the arrow-like snapper, which follows a series of purple dotted lines. Okay, maybe we'll just uh, press space to get into it. We'll, we'll see by example here. We've got the snapper, we've got blobs, or blots? Yeah, blots. So we're the, the snapper there, that uh, white triangle. We've got the whirlers. Um, we're, we can collect blots and we can go home here. As well, I think uh, uh, on some stages you have to collect a certain number of blots before you can exit. Let's, let's find out. This is on early stages, uh, no blots are required, but as the difficulty progresses, more blots are required to complete a level. We must avoid the flashing gamma field, which flits around the screen. That's the thing of lines. Uh, if we touch that, we die. So there's that next blot up at the top. I don't know what that means, so I'm not sure, like... Because right now I'm not being required to, uh... To really, uh, get a certain number of blots, it seems like. Player is armed with a shield, which probably makes the player invulnerable. Player has a maximum of three shields. Blinish at a rate of one per round. Get six blots before touching base. Okay, now we've got a mission. Okay, now we can. Now the real snapper begins. Go faster on the lines here. Go home. Oh wait, no. We gotta, we gotta get one more blot. It won't let you home. Yeah, went a little bit too fast there. Alright, let's. Nope. Having a little trouble there. There we go. Okay, now we can go back. You can see also those uh, quote unquote whirler enemies are also destroying the level as we go through here. Uh, so I'm not sure when that's gonna start presenting a problem, but uh, eventually there's like a little uh, thing that will spawn in the center that we can touch to um, restore the level. So I guess those early stages are really just warm up for the real snapper here. So here we go. Yeah, that's the if I touch that, it should restore the level. I'm not sure if I can. I, can, I, I would assume that I can do that before um, before touching base. Let's see what that does. Hopefully that doesn't reset my, my blot progress. I'm still not entirely clear on the uh, on the next blot thing there. What that means? Like, what do the numbers there mean? Anyway, <laughs> get ten blots before touching base. Okay. Snapping. Oh no. Got. Got by the gamma field. Get 10 blots before touching bases, so, so that resets. Uh, let's see here. This is kind of an interesting twist on, you know, Pac Man clone. It's, it's, you know, similar principles, but it feels very different even just, you know, in the presentation of that you're following a line versus going through a maze. Even something as small as that makes a big difference in it not feeling as uh, direct of a ripoff. Uh, let's see here. Got level destruction too, you know. Uh, 
It says we earn a new snapper for every five rings that we collect. Oh no, is that gonna... Okay. Man, that gamma uh, ray is coming after us. It's got a... Oh no, we got, got by a whirler. Okay. 12 blots before touching base, okay. Oh man. Sometimes it's hard to get off of the uh, double speed ones there. Or maybe you can't. Maybe uh, maybe you have to ride those all the way to the end. Oh no. It seems like that's the case. I don't, uh, I don't think you can get off of them early. Oh, game over. Wow. Okay. What was our what was our final score in space? I don't know. Hitting my action button. Um. Uh, game over. Do you have to reboot the Apple II for this game? Seems kind of like it. All right. Well, here we go. Welcome back to Waza Day. Yeah, this is running in the Apple II Plus in main because uh, trying to boot in an Apple IIe, it just gets this weird... You want to try a different skill level? Let's try skill level 9. Uh, and then joystick control. Uh, yeah, trying to boot in an Apple IIe, it gets a weird uh, boot loop. It can't boot up to the title screen. Uh, and I couldn't uh, get this to boot in any uh, Apple II configuration in Virtual 2. Uh, so this Apple II Plus seems to work. I, can, I bet you could run it in, in some of the, the other Apple II machines in MAME if you knew what you were doing, but Apple II Plus boots right into it. Get 14 blots before returning to base. We're starting off uh, strong here on level 9. Yeah, I think these double speed ones, you can't exit early, so there's a little bit of strategy there, too. Wait, you have to be able to, because how, how would we get that other... Oh, maybe we have to wait for uh, part of the thing to be destroyed before we can get that that la that blot in there. You see what I'm saying? Oh no, you can get off. So it's just very very difficult. Not sure what determines it. Got a floating blot out there, a stranded blot. Like there it was holding. Like, I'm holding the direction to get off the whole time there, with no success. Alright, we can return to base now. Let's do it. Yeah, I don't know if they just expect you to reset your Apple II every time you get a game over. Don't encounter that too often. Is this all double speeds? Whoa. This really is level 9 here, folks. On the snapper. I'm glad we uh, went ahead and tried this out. Tried out level 9 here to see how crazy it gets. I don't know what that sound means, but it can't be good. I gotta tell you, kinda hard to control this. Because that problem that I was talking about earlier, uh, <laughs> where you can't get off early. Like, I'm holding up the whole time there, and it's not getting off early, so I'm not sure. Can we re restore the level here? Let's see. Does that help us at all? Maybe, maybe not. Maybe that makes things worse on this stage, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, man. It's gonna be a fun time. Four blots. Uh, avoid the gamma field here. Doing a lot better if this wasn't all double speeds. That's what they all say. There we 
we go. Okay. Here we go. Let's see what the next level has. We're on round 250. I don't understand the round display or the points display or the life display or anything. The next plot display. The time display makes sense. Oh no. A whirler got us. Gotta get 14 blots on this all double speed. Here in the snapper. Start snapping. Like, I don't even want to go over there because I'm going to run into that whirler. Pretty sure. Oh no. Oh, cutting it close. Got a ring in the middle. Okay. Still need four blots. Oh man, the gamma field is getting close there. Now, can we exit to base? That's the question. There we go. Get 16 blots. I wonder if you can ever get, like, spawn locked in here, you know? Will they destroy enough of this that you just can't even get out of here or get the ring? Questions everybody has about... the snapper. Pretty intense. With all this double speed. I feel like I'm kind of cornered here by this, uh... This guy. Oh, there's a ring now. Nope. I was pressing down the whole time, but uh, couldn't get off. Get 16 blots. Before touching base. Oh wait, uh, death also restores the th the the level. Good to know. I don't think we have any uh, any snappers left though. This is it's gonna be game over again if we die. We all know what game over means in the snapper. Gotta get these blots. Oh no. Oh, I was trying to turn around. No dice. Game over. Yeah, I think, uh... I think this game... Oh, you can hit escape. Okay, escape is the, is the key there. Uh, to restart the snapper uh, after a game over. Uh, but yeah, I think that's going to do it here for me with the snapper for a was a day. And, uh, if you like, uh, looking at, uh, obscure, bizarre early Apple II games like this, go ahead and subscribe and I will see you tomorrow for our next was a day.